hello it's mark welcome back to my channel hero tech systems if you are new to my channel welcome in today's video we are going to look at how to configure wired and wireless LAN extension in Cisco Packet Tracer. This is lesson 7 of the Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial for beginners. So without further ado, let us go straight into our Packet Tracer interface and configure uh, the wired and wireless LAN extension. So we'll go to Packet Tracer so this is the topology which we created in the last video where we configured DHCP services on this server right here and it successfully assigned IP addresses uh, dynamically to these uh, devices here laptop 0, laptop 1 and printer 0 so if you missed the video, if you missed the tutorial and you've missed every other tutorial up to this point Please, the link to these videos are in the description. You can click the link to watch and then follow along. Now, what we are going to do today, the business of the day is to extend this network to, to, to extend the network wireless and wirelessly. Let's say, for example, you in a company you've created this network here for the IT department and then the sales department is requesting that oh we need also need to have uh, uh, a LAN uh, in, our, uh, uh, in, our, in our in our in our department so what you want to do is um, get the uh, probably get the switch for them and you know get uh, the network devices that you need and the cables and everything now so we're going to simulate that in packet tracer so, for example, you're going to get uh, their own uh, uh, little segment. So, we're going to just say, okay, for us to create an extension, we need a switch. So, we need a switch for the sales department. Yeah. And then, let's just say they have two, um, two let's just give them two. Uh, laptops so we'll one here we'll one here and they also want to communicate wirelessly so they want to have um, so they want to have be able to get wireless connectivity to the network not just wired connectivity so what we're going to do is just connect these devices to the switch uh, connect this one to the switch as well and then use a copper crossover cable to connect the two switches uh, in Cisco uh, in networking in packet tracer especially devices of the same type are usually connected with um, a copper crossover cable so connect on port 24 so now we can okay we're just going to let this go through the spanning tr spanning tree state uh, and then uh, become uh, active so gonna wait for the two devices to you know become active uh, but we can we can broadcast for JCP Can broadcast for DHCP. So it's active. We're just gonna broadcast for DHCP. Good. So let's see if we have. We're not getting an IP, so let's see. Let's broadcast again. Good, so now we have gotten an IP address from the JCP server. It has assigned this uh, laptop 10.0.0.21, uh, a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0 uh, 
a gateway of 10.0.0.1 and a DNS server address of 10.8.8.8.8. So it has assigned this one as well. So So um, now, for us to add the wireless connectivity, to add the wireless connectivity, we're going to get um, we'll get a wireless access point and connect to the network. So this is the sales uh, wireless access point based on what they have requested. Uh, so we're going to connect with a straight through cable good and then we'll bring up some wireless devices uh, devices that have wireless capability so bring up this wireless um, tablet and then this smartphone connect so we're going to the go into so the in this uh, access point um, dialog box here what we want to do is configure so port 0 make sure it's on um, the bandwidth is set to 100 megabit per second and then the duplex is half duplex and leave it like that uh, just leave it at the default and then come here so this is where you do the configuration so the port status has to be on and then we can change our network name which is uh, the service set identifier the SSID to um, let's call it home oh no sorry let's call it sales remember it's a sales router is a sales access point so we're going to call it sales and then you have it broadcasting on the 2.4 gigahertz channel and the 5 gigahertz channel which is fine and then we're going to set authentication a wpa preset key authentication so we're going to say cisco one two three uh, the en encryption type we'll leave it as aes so we can can close this now we now have to go into the device the tablet and then configure it for wireless let's see so come here come to the config tab and click on wireless key now it's not connected we're going to call it uh, give it the SSID home, right? Home, and then give it a preset key. Give it a preset key of Cisco one two three. See, because it connected before, and I changed the configuration on the access point, it got an IP address before, but now that we broadcasted for uh, IP address is getting this uh, Microsoft IP address. So now we're putting the right details: the SSID of home, the preset key of Cisco one two three, and then we will do the same thing here. Come to wireless. Let's go to the interface. And okay, so we're going to call this home so Cisco one two three let's be sure that we have the right configuration Okay, sorry. You see, the SSID is sales, not 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 home. So we gave it the wrong SSID. That's why it's not connecting. So 
sales just change this to sales and I'll change this to sales beautiful so you see it's connected so let's see if it's going to get an IP address. Uh, is it getting an IP address? Yes, it's getting an IP address. So let me just zoom in a bit. So you can see it has automatically gotten an IP address from the DHCP server. So DHCP request successful, you can see that. And the same thing here, uh, check it. Good. Uh, that was gotten an IP address 10.0.0.23.255.0.0.10.0.0.1 as the default gateway and 8.8.8 .8 as the DNS server. So we have successfully extended our network. So we've successfully extended our network. Uh, now let's 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 run a ping. So we're going to ping from here, from this uh, IT department, and we're going to run a ping to the sales. So let's say ping 10.10.10.23. So you see, I am getting replies. Uh, so I run the ping again. So see, I'm getting replies, which is amazing. So that is how to configure a uh, LAN extension and wireless LAN extension using an access point, a standalone access point. In the next video, we're going to look at how to configure wireless LAN extension using a wireless controller. Uh, that will be what will be discussed in the next video. So if you're new to networking and you do not really understand uh, networking top technologies uh, there is a link there's a a link to a guide in the description which I've written uh, it's uh, the the guide summarizes networking networking technologies and uh, if you want to become uh, uh, get to inter intermediate level in networking from uh, beginners level please use the use the guide the link to that guide is in the description uh, below so um, if this video has been, has been helpful, has been impactful, uh, please do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, click the notification bell so that when next I upload uh, a, 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 the, the next video, uh, which is uh, literally on a daily basis, you will be notified. Thank you very much, and uh, God bless you.